<laughs> must be love and pre-season, mate. Are we away? Yeah. Yeah, right, eh? Uh, yeah, it has. It's, it's been a, a very enjoyable pre-season. Um, Pike has come in and just changed a few little things to his style, but, um, you know, a lot of things we're doing, you know, we're sort of well on our way to achieving, and uh, it's been a, a good, nice start. What have you learned under Pikey? What's he sort of teaching you? Uh, it's just brought in, you know, just changed a few little things in offence and also defence. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you watched today, but it's pretty heavy focus towards our team defence, and I think that can be, you know, one of our big improvement areas. There's some uh, beats going on out there. Is that something that's new that's been added to the preseason? Yeah, it's 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 nice actually. Um, during the warm up, it's, um, rather than just going through it, you know, it, someone gets nominated, and you can you can play your music. So um, I had my turn. Uh, a few days ago, I was able to play my 90s music. So, um, but no, it's good. And then it's obvi obviously comes back on when the running's on as well. So, it's uh, just just something different to break up training and get the boys through. Does it help you? I mean, I know they do in gyms and all that sort of stuff. Does it help you get through? Well, I think so. Uh, I think it just you know just changes you know just just breaks things up and um, especially if it's music that gets you up and about, it's, uh, it definitely helps with the running. You can take any help you can get this time of the year. Who's got that? I think it was Pikey's actually. Um, yeah, so it just gets passed around and yeah, it's good. Who's got the worst mixtape? Uh, Mitch Grigg, he's, he's just shocking. Uh, hands down, you'll get that response from probably most of the boys. Uh, he loves all these technos and all that sort of stuff. It's, I don't really like it, but. <laughs> Any new tricks in the midfield this year, mate? Uh, I think um, you know there'll be a few little tweaks. Um, structurally, we'll change a few little things, but I think you know personnel pretty much will be um, you know pretty similar. I think a lot of a lot of the younger guys will probably have more of an input. Um, you know, Jared Lyons, Mitch Grigg, Matt Matt Crouch. Um, hopefully, get Brad Crouch back. Um, you know, all these guys who have been around the mark, sort of you know now get their chance to um, you know hopefully become regular. So it's pretty exciting as there is a few positions up um, you know that are available. How's the body feeling? My body's really good at the moment. Um, I've been able to complete most sessions. I had a bit of an elbow clean out at the end of the season. Um, but I've, other than that, I've, like I said, I've been able to complete most sessions and, and do all the running, which, which for me is probably the most important part um, this time of the year. Great year last year, Source. You've had a few good years in the past and then followed by a lot. It was a couple of years back. What have you been doing this pre-season to make sure you're back up 2015? Yeah, it is. Um, 2013, I sort of had a, a down year after having a good one in 2012. And, uh, throughout that year, I probably learnt um, a bit about how you know what you have to do to become a consistent AFL player, and a lot of that's based around um, you know my training standards and all that. And I felt like I've I've got to a level now where I sort of know know what I need to do to get my body in a you know in a position to to be able to compete best. And um, you know the, the that sort of stuff, the the footy side of it, you know, probably comes a bit more natural to me. But it's just making sure that you know my training levels are at a good standard. Do you expect to be out on the ground a little bit more with the? No, I don't think I'll change too much. I was only able to get one interchange a quarter last year, so I think it'll be pretty similar for me this year. And um, you know, we we've got a, a good uh, ruck group um, together at the moment with with Riley O'Brien's training really well. Lukey Loudon spending you know probably the most most he's been on the track since he's came to the club, and and also Paul Hunter, who's you know he's he's come in and, and showed good signs too. So. I'm not sure which way Pikey would go in terms of whether it's one ruckman or two, but um, you know, like I said before, I think I'll be physically ready for for whatever he's he's happy with. How's um, Brad Crouch going? Is he progressing well with his uh, eternal injury problems? Yeah, he is. He's um, you know another bloke who sort of you know at the start of the year probably started uh, started preseason started a little bit slow, but now he's sort of starting to 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 build back up to the normal um, training regime. So. Um, He's, uh, he's obviously really excited just to be back out there amongst the boys and, and we're excited to have him back. Is, um, you know, just, just little snippets, you can sort of see how good he's going to be and, and what we've been missing, so uh, we're excited by it. And he's remaining positive, it must be hard for him because he's come across and every time he's played he's shown not just glimpses but his starting games. How's his positivity going? Yeah, I think he's, he's doing really well now. He's, um, you know, he's a bloke creature, he's a, he's a, he's a real footballer, um, you know, he just, he just loves the contest and loves playing and I think that's probably the hardest thing for him was probably taking that competitiveness away from him, um, being injured and, um, you know, when, you, when you're swimming and doing bike and all this stuff on your own, it's, it's hard to sort of get that, that um, competitive fix, I guess. So, um, you know, he, like you said, he just loves the contest and, and loves playing footy, so hopefully we can get him back sooner. Is it hard learning another game plan source? 
Um, I think if, if you're going to completely start again, I think it would take time. But I think with, with Pike in, and what Walsh brought in last year, you know, a lot of their philosophies are probably pretty similar. So, um, you know, not too much is going to change. But, you know, Pike, he's just got a few little tweaks that probably he learnt from, from Adam Simpson up, uh, from his time at the Eagles. But um, there'll be a few little changes, but it's mostly um, things will pretty, be pretty similar. Have the players said to him, this worked for us last year, we want to keep it? No, um, you know, he's come in and he, he's worked with the coaching staff and, and he implemented what he wanted to. So, um, no, it was certainly, certainly Pikey's team and, and we'll do what he wants.